Jesus, Who's look there? at that. They tunnel? Now we end this. Okay. Are these like mole people? They were present in Blood Moon, but I don't know, they weren't, as far as I remember, they weren't really explained. You just kind of showed up there and you just accepted the fact that they were, that they were there, that this is just like, yeah, this is Soul Slime. Of course there's going to be little Reikling Reeklings dude walking around here. Th that's, this is just where they're at. <laughs> what? This isn't weird. Come on. And honestly, you know what? Back in the day, it wasn't weird. When you're when you're coming from Vardenfell, seeing the little reeklings going around, it is normal. <laughs> like that's more normal than all the shit on Vardenfell. <laughs>
In fact, a lot of my smithing, crafting stuff is in here. I don't think Hearthstone is for that. Someone, someone even told me what Hearthstone is for. It's like a casting reagent. But, you know, it's it's a stone. So it says, so I put it in there. <laughs> put it in there with the other rocks. Right? But yeah, we got all of that shit inside of there. And I think that's it for the most part at the time being. Right? I don't think there's... Yeah, there's not really anything in here. Can you get people to move into Raven Rock? I forget. I think you might be able to, but only if they're from the Dragonborn DLC. I think... I can't remember, though. Alright, let's head on out. Also, I cooked up a few... whatevers. Oh, look, and my straw has moved as well? What a nightmare. What a horrible time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's head on out here. Yeah, I would love it if in the future there's a way to just lock your decorations in place. Like I said, there's mods that do it. And it's totally possible within, like, um, Fallout 4's settlement creation thing like you can see how like you know you can just place some knickknacks all over just you know let's do it with everything sold off quite a few things just as well anyway let us go on and do what i think should be our next order of business which is to get this bone mold formula i definitely want to do that let's see here we'll untrack these anything else now we're good. Okay, where is this even at? I don't even know, but I want that, uh, I want that bone mold. Oh shit, it's way up here? Are you for real? <laughs> Fuck! Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I want that bone mold armor, though. I want it. I don't want it to be, like, one of the last things we do in Solstheim, because I want to be going around in the cool bone mold armor. I want to actually be wearing it for most of the time. Good lord. Heavens knows we've been going around in fucking this, like, special Elder Scrolls Blades Creation Club free package ebony armor whatever set. Goodness. Let's head on up and over here. Good. Also, I went and backed up. I know we were talking about, like, either last time or the time before last. But I've gone and backed up all of my Skyrim saves. This is all for the coming anniversary edition. I backed everything up. I think everything. <laughs> I, th I think everything important. I think I copied it into its own folder and all that. And I paused downloads to where Skyrim will only update if I launch Skyrim, which shouldn't be an issue because, you know, given that I'm playing with the script extender, I only launch it via that exe. And just in case, I turned down my I throttled my own download speed on Steam to just, like, as low as it would go, which was, like, a thousand kilobytes per second. Which, you know, should be good enough. You'd think. I don't know. Granted, Skyrim is, like, shockingly small, I think, right? I guess maybe I've just gotten so used to, to modern games being just fucking enormous file sizes. Who's, whose little place is this? Abandoned Lodge discovered. Would this be... Would this be Sweet Shares? Nah. His would be somewhere around here, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know who's in there. Sh fuck, should I just go in? Let's quick save. I'm going in. Let's find out what's inside of here as the sky has turned, like, a sickly green. It's like we're in Fallout 3. Oh, I can't even go in. Oh, that's how special it is? Okay. All right, let's just get up here. Continue this way past this, like, ominous, foreboding Dwemer tower. All right. Get this going just as well. Okay. Gosh, you know, I gotta say, when I was doing the prep work, when I was, like, decorating and everything, I call it prep work for uh, preparing to record and all that. Dog's been shedding a lot. The poor love dog... You know, I guess it's that time of year. Changing, like, coats or whatever. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I had a lot of dog hairs stuck in the laser of my mouse. And it's not great. <laughs> Especially when you're playing, like, I don't know, <laughs> like a multiplayer game. And uh, it just completely fucks up your aim. Good God. Just, you know, 
dog hairs everywhere now. <laughs> okay. But it's worth it. It's fucking worth What's it. That? Oh, look at this! What is that for you? I don't know. Now we end this. Okay, we're going to end it. Jumping frost spider. Oh there. shit, look at it go! <laughs> I knew I heard something. Fuck, look at my blast. They are really not... Oh, it resisted it. Really? Look at Freya go. I am sorry, but you left me with no choice. Oh, this one isn't jumping. Okay. Can I resurrect it? Oh shit. Cool. Look at this fucking thing. It looks like it's from like Dark Souls. It's like some kind of Soulsborn looking enemy. Okay. Over here. Ooh, I hear some mushy mushing. Oh, look at these. It's egg pods are like throbbing. Oh. Oh, this is ASMR. Here, if I shoot them, would they pop? Oh! Who's there? A fun surprise has arrived. Oh, God. That's cool. Oh, I shot a soul trap at it, and it's so delicate, it just exploded as well. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. You know, the the eggs. Very explosive. Oh, shit, we can go... Oh, fuck, it needs a key, too. White Ridge Sanctum. Okay. Sure. What's this, though? A sapphire geode. I guess we'll give it a quick pick. There we are. I guess, I, you know, I do prefer probably having them locked, because, you know, I I have something of a horrifying track record of going... Or, not horrifying, but I certainly have some degree of a track record of going inside of dungeons that are for moderately to fairly or very important quests, side quests and all that, and clearing them out and then having to return. So I guess I like I like the idea of like, okay, you're gonna have to come back to this for a fairly important quest. We'll uh we'll make sure you get a key. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good. Which you know, probably wouldn't normally be so much of a an issue if it weren't for the fact that we were playing with survival. Because then, you know, it wouldn't be so bad like, Oh shit, I've already been out there, but I can't even fast travel to it. Right? <laughs> her deliveries! Her deliveries on her combat calls are so good! Oh shit, I need to eat. Oh, I've contracted a gut worm. There we go. Take the troll fat. Let's heal up. Good. I better cleanse myself of this horrific ailment. There we are. Okay. Let's also get our pick back out. Get some more of this sapphire. Okay. I wonder where all these geodes came from though, huh? What's going on there? Oh, there's so many geodes now. Is that to do with the eruption? Like somehow these have appeared? There's some like massive tectonic movement given the mountain range shifting and all that. Fuck, there's the castle over yonder, huh? Okay. Jesus, I can't believe I'm going all the way out here just for the bone mold shit. <laughs> no, I can totally believe it. I can absolutely believe it. Okay. Let's go here. Oh shit, look, there's treasure! Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna speed over there! Good. What is this? Just a steel sword. And an adept chest. Shit. <laughs> okay. There we go. Banded iron armor. Got a diamond, though. Okay. I'm gonna move this sword. Somewhat. That way it looks like someone has been here. Okay. There we go. Well, now... That almost looks like it belongs there. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, a steel horned helmet stuck inside of the snow. Neat. Okay. I like that there's just some little treasures around. I like that. Okay. Good. Can I actually go inside of this? I don't think so. I think it'll just, like, send me flying if I do that. Okay. It's smaller than I remember. <laughs> Maybe the eruption melted a lot of it. <laughs> the castle Karstag. I'm pretty sure this is it, isn't it? 
The location is definitely correct. As far as uh, the island's geography goes. Okay. What the hell? Do I go downward here? Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, no damage at all. Amazing. Oh, look. Behind this. Huh? Ah. Uh, okay. Fine. Back over here. Ah, there we go. There's our marker. No way! It is inside of Castle Karstag, our objective? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't remember this at all. I'm quick saving. Okay. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, it totally is melting. Yeah, all of the water and shit, it's coming from the castle as well. Dude, it's melting. Oh, shit. I don't remember this at all. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a million dudes in here, huh? Okay. <laughs> Great. Should we clear out the whole place? Or just... do a smash and grab? Maybe we need to just obliterate all these fools. Oh god. Give me your shit here. Bone mold formula. Let's give it a quick read. Delvin, here's the formula for the improved bone mold I mentioned in my last letter. Take whatever gold you make from the sale and make sure our little sister is taken care of. Who? Ingredients. Who is Delvin's little sister? What? Is it... Is it what's her name? The other person who gives you quests? The, the like, random radiant quests? Is she related to Delvin? Or is it sister as in, like, you know, like you're a sister of the guild? Is it like a more, you know, like a fast and furious kind of sister? Ingredients. Four cups of bone dust. One cup void salts. Fuck. One bottle of netch jelly. One cup of ground stalrim chips. One bucket of fresh water. Add the bone and void salts to the water and allow them to soak for at least a full day. Then... Add the netch jelly and stallrim chips to the bucket. Stir over a hot flame until the mixture begins to harden. Pour the mixture into the desired mold and set the mold in the center of your forge. Fire the mixture in the forge for at least half a day. Let the mixture cool and then remove the mold. Clever Mallory. Hmm. Okay. Take that. Yeah. Bring it back. Okay. Should I take this thing? May as well. I got the carry weight to spare. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, jeez. How do I... How do I get over there without going through the freezing water? Ooh! Okay. Can I go up this way? Oh, there we go. Great. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, good. I forgot how much, like, Ewoks they sound, huh? Oh, shit, I can't... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can I throw these by hand? No, they're ammo, aren't they? These are, like, ammo for arrows and stuff. Okay. No. Wow, they're very easy. Wait, hang on, let me let me just double-check something here. Okay, okay. <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure. There we are. Good. Okay, what have you got? Six Quatlus, some boar meat, potion of light feet. I'm just gonna drink it right here. It's a delicious little beverage. It's a fun little treat. But you can search their huts, just like, um, with the Falmer? Or is it that some of the- oh, look! Look at its little flaps being lifted up. Oh, shit! Look at me almost getting stabbed by a flying spear. Okay. Goodness gracious. Oh, look, little bits of money. These aren't thrown weapons, right? They are arrows, correct? Okay, yeah, they are. All right. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay. Drop those on the ground. Anything over here? Does it look like there's anything behind that waterfall? I don't think so. Oh, what is this? It's emanating blue. That's fine. Okay. Here. Ooh, they're climbing all over the place. <laughs> Look at them go. Okay. Or maybe, maybe 
Ewok isn't accurate, it's more like Jawa. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I can't even reach them. Okay, I'm gonna try and blow the man down. There we go. Eh? Shit. Okay. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I can't reach him. Okay. Fuck, is there like a bow? I wish I could throw these things like javelins, honestly. Okay. I guess I'll apply that, why not? Here, I've got my... Fuck, I've never used it in like forever. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Look, it has to be done. Fuck. Jeez, they hurt. It's like hiding. There we go. Good. Where are the rest? I don't know. Should I check inside of this waterfall for real? I feel like I should. Okay. Look, here we go. Against my better judgment, we're checking. Oh, shit. Look at this. Coin purse, iron greatsword, and apprentice lock chest. Okay. Not so much behind the waterfall as underneath it. Should I take some Nordic carved boots? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Maybe I can decorate, uh, Severin Manor. Okay. Anything else here before we free- Oh look, it, we're actually not freezing. This water is warm with, like, the blood of the- the Reeklings, the Reiklings. Okay. Cool. Let's head on up. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> <laughs> they go flying. Oh, I love it. Okay. Where did you come from? There we are. Oop. Out of soul gems. Dude, they really like explode when you kill them. Do you hear that? What's this like explosive noise that they emit? <laughs> okay. Over here. Here, listen to this dude when we kill him. See? <laughs> they look like something about them blows up. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's great. <laughs> Love it. Great. More of that, please. Okay. Over here. Anything good? Some weak stam poison. I'll apply it. Anything else? Okay. Here's a question. Are there any Falmer on Solstheim? I don't remember if there are. Shit, should I keep going this way? I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be going here just yet. Oh, look. A sign of things from the past. Okay. Let's pop this open. Cause isn't this gonna lead into like the main castle grounds where you have like the big super showdown and stuff? That said, we may not have what's necessary to activate that super showdown. You know? Oh jeez, look at all this. All very low lock levels. Okay. Oh shit. Over this way. Good. Alright. Anything else? Huh, a greater soul gem. I guess it is hard to keep these doors locked if they're literally made of ice. <laughs> right? And it's- everything's like in the process of melting down. <laughs> okay. See, these used to be, 200 years ago, used to be master locks. You needed to have like, I don't even know, a hundred lock picking to even have a, a hope to get inside. But now? After everything's melting down and shit? Shh. Apprentice. Novice. Easy. The Reichling banking is no good. <laughs> the, the vaults, the vault doors completely melted open. Everything. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? Yeah, some fun little potions. Good. Anything else? 
now. Up and around here. Jesus, Who's look there? at that. They tunnel? Now we end this. Okay. Are these like mole people? They were present in Blood Moon, but I don't know. They weren't, as far as I remember, they weren't really explained. You just kind of showed up there and you just accepted the fact that they were, that they were there, that this is just like, yeah, this is soul slime. Of course there's going to be little Reikling Reeklings dude walking around here. Th that's, this is just where they're at. <laughs> what? This isn't weird. Come on. And honestly, you know what? Back in the day, it wasn't weird. When you're when you're coming from Vardenfell, seeing the little Reeklings going around, it is normal. <laughs> like, that's more normal than all the shit on Vardenfell. <laughs> you know what? Why do you need an explanation for them when you've already accepted the fact that there's, like, people with, like, no faces walking around, people with, like, elephant trunks on their heads, like, weird things that look just like giant heads walking around, ball sacks floating around. <laughs> you begin to accept anything. If you've already made the agreement of accepting shit that naturally occurs in Morrowind on Vardenfell, then what else could honestly surprise you? <laughs> you're, you're open to anything. <laughs> okay, let's check. Oh, look. Huh. Soul gem. Oh, jeez. Frey, are you... Did you die? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, look. Oh, we're up here. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's check inside their little hut. Cast iron. Eh. Eh, we'll leave that. Okay. Very well. Let's go over this way. Check this stuff out. Did, did we already go up this one? Yeah, we did. Okay. Up here. I do love the look of this, though. All their little doohickeys and stuff. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the explosion when they die. Is that maybe like the sound like the force of our blows is just breaking like half the bones in their bodies on the final hit? And that's it? Is that what what's going on here? <laughs> okay. What am I looking at here? Just a hut. Okay. Cast iron pot. Do you think these are their poop buckets? Do you think that's what these are? They just, like, piss and shit inside of little pots? Get, like, a little potion bottle? <laughs> sure. Okay. Over here. Salt pile. Come on up this way. Alright, we got more of this mystical fire. Oh. Should I investigate down there? Why oh, should? There's like a pig lord. Okay. And I'm... Um, yeah, okay. That loops around. We'll loot all this, though, real quick. Eat some flour. Good. Potato. Good. Nothing in that. Oh, an orcish helmet. Apothecary satchel with some juniper berries. Lovely. How about here? Okay. Good. All right. Let's blast this pig. Or is it a peace-loving pig? Do these pigs love peace? Hello? These might be peace-loving pigs. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to turn them against their pig lord master. Who's there? Rush! There we go. Is now you there? fight for me, pigs. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see, let's blast you down there. Good. Get them pigs. Get them. Yes! The pigs are revolting. Very good. They're not very good at it, though. Okay. The pig revolution is progressing at a very slow pace. Here, I'm gonna try and lure him out of that over here. Oh shit. Oh, they've all turned. Okay. All right. Actually, let's see. Can I... Nah, no gems. All right. Jeez, they are some big pigs. Fuck. Sometimes the explosion noise, like, takes me aback. It's, like, significantly louder than them. Okay. 
Over here. You don't think that's like them ripping ass, like their death knell or whatever, right? You know how you always hear about like, when you die you just like, shit your pants or whatever? Maybe that's it? They're just like, ripping ass in a major way? Upon death? I don't know. Or maybe that's them like, spitting on us. I don't know. Look at these little tiny sacks, I love it. Okay. Over here. Take some of this. You know what? I bet there's definitely a mod that lets you play as them. As a Reekling. But... Is, are you actually playing as one if you cannot ride around on a bristleback? I feel like that's a necessity. Okay. Over here. Nah, we're good. Check out this little trove. Novice lock. Okay. Take some picks, I guess. There, lock picking is already back up to 89. I say already, but it feels like we reset it like a bazillion videos ago. <laughs> okay. Over here. And let's go check out this ice door. There we go. Oh. Hey. Here we go. Take care of you. Good. Wait, did this dude come out of a barrel? Can I pick up the pieces of this barrel? They're like, physicsing around. Huh. Okay. That's some new shit though, huh? These broken barrel parts that are subjected to physics? Jeez, I'm afraid this shit's gonna break. Not made for us. Okay. Anything over here? Nah, we're good. Okay. Who's there? I know it! Uh, yeah. uh, lovely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's still getting me. Okay. Let's take this. Boar tusk. Great. Now let's search their little buildings. Alright. There we go. Ugh. Got a head. All right, what do we got? Flawless rubies, some money, little rings, steel plate boots. No, thank you. Some dead ass dude back here. Okay. Really nice mace, ebony mace and a glass shield. I guess I'll take it. I mean, I don't really need it, but sure. Probably they would not have died if not for the fact that uh they had- they, they put all their money into their, like, weapon and shield. <laughs> they entered here completely naked. <laughs> no armor whatsoever. Really, uh, really daring. Honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh, look! Wow! A secret little trove! Wow, I didn't think there would be anything up here, but there is! Wow. Okay. I really don't need the glass, but I feel like I, I must take it. Okay. Cool. Love that. Any other fun little secrets? Nah, I don't think so. Either that or I've completely missed them. Look, that looks like a loop around, huh? Yeah, there's bodies coming off of it and everything. Yeah, there's a dude up there. Another naked guy. Wow, no wonder the Reeklings, Reiklings are pissed. They were like, under siege by a shitload of naked people. <laughs> How weird. I'd be mad about that as well. <laughs> okay. What have we got over here? Just some little fun knickknacks. Okay. There we are. Cool. Oh shit, I took the dwarven gauntlets. I definitely don't want those. Okay. Good. And look. Yeah, wow, we're going to the courtyard. Fuck me. Alright, let's quick save. I don't know what you need to do to activate this. I'll make her protect me. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Alright. Good. I forget, maybe you shout at it? Do you have to shoot? <laughs> the the extra pop noise like coincided with him falling off the the pig. <laughs> Let's see. 
Got some more spears there. Here, let's separate them. Can I separate their... their whole situation? Yeah. More spears. Anything on you? Nah. Okay. There's our dungeon cleared sound. Yeah, the key. Okay. I guess now we have easy access back here. Fair enough. Yeah, I forget. How do you... How do you activate this? Huh. Let's do a quick save here. I think it is you give it like the old Fus Roda. I forget. Fus Roda! Huh? Nah, maybe we need to come back at some point. Right? Maybe that's it. Okay. Sure. Necromancy at play as well. Hands. <laughs> no head, though. How oh, weird. What was that? It looked like something popped up for me to take. Or am I, like, tripping major balls? I think I'm tripping major fucking balls. Okay. Fine. Maybe it's... Oh, what if it's the new shout that we have? Bend Will. What if that's it? Okay, we'll, we'll chill out here for a bit. And we'll see if anything happens. Alright. Nice butt, though. Wish I could take that. Alright. Here we go. Cool. Eh? No. Yeah, I don't remember how you do it. Like I said, maybe, maybe we're missing, like, the proper reagents to do it. Probably for the best. There we go. Head out this way. Yeah, and now we've got super easy- well, I mean, we could have still picked into it, but now we've got even easier access to the front main area. Alright, let's head on back to Raven Rock. That way we can start cooking around with our new bone mold, hopefully. Oh, jeez. Are we gonna freeze to death out here? Let's do a quick save. Okay. Shit, yeah, how am I gonna get back? <laughs> How's that gonna work? Nah! Oh, fuck, that was... That was exceedingly risky <laughs> doing what I just did there. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> eh. What can you do? <laughs> okay. Over here. Can I get back up that? No. Alright. How about if we circle around this, like... Dragon's... Zone. I think we went here... Earlier, right? Is this the same one from before? I think it might be, yeah. Yeah, it totally is. Oh shit, there's dudes here now. Or dudes here again. There we go. Great. Take care of you. Oh fuck. What was that? Okay. Nonetheless, we are warming up again. I'll take it. Do you think the... Was there a treasure here? I forget. I'm wondering if it repopulated. Should we take these swords? Eh. Let's see. New stuff? Nah, just a hunting bow. Fair enough. Okay. Well, should we warm up here? At the... Like, fiery sarcophagus? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh shit, I think, yeah, we're fully warm now. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, the whole exterior area has, like, a sphere of influence radiating warmth. Very good. All right. Good. Let's see, if I jump down this way, is that a good route to get back? I don't think so. Nah! Oh, God, jeez. <gasps> it scared me. <laughs> right, of course, yeah. It always does that. Huh. I mean, we could go up here past these dudes. Oh shit, there's like a million of them though. You know what? Let's go down and around. <laughs> I don't want to tangle with them just yet. Okay. Good. Yeah, if we follow this stream, we should get back. That's what we did previously, I think. Okay. Good. Alright, I have to wonder how many of these streams... Like, I don't think that one does. But I wonder how many of them lead from Castle Karstag melting. Okay. What? I can't believe it. 
What the hell? There's some dude out here. Treasure. What? Lost. I'm not even getting subtitles. There's just a guy Must talking to my head. What did he say? What did he? What was that? With that phrase? Everyone dead. Everyone but me. Dude, he's like right here. Is this him? Oh, that treasure. Oh, it is a Reaver Marauder. They attacked us. Those bastards at Frossel stole our treasure. Wait, forget all said that. That's my treasure. You can't have it. Now ain't this <gasps> <is> strong? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Man, here I thought I was like <laughs> I was experiencing a telepathic mind no invader. <laughs> it's happened before, you know, it's happened before. Look, it's not that weird to think that someone might be talking into my brain. <laughs> it's it happens. <laughs> okay. Let's go on out of here. Well now we got a map update, though. So. Frosel. Eh, there we go. Okay. But apparently there's nothing there anymore, right? Maybe there'll be like a, a lead or something. A note. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a note like, ah, ha, ha, we we took all your fucking treasure, you stupid fucking reavers. Hope you don't come to our secret base at and then write it down and draw a map of the location. <laughs> He's like, damn it, I can't believe they took all my fucking treasure. Where could they have gone? If only I could read. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what's that? Ugh. What is that? Oh, it's an open clam. Okay, yeah, we've been through here. Fuck, yeah, we need to hurry. We're getting cold as shit. We're about to start moving slower, too. Because of it. Alright. At the very least, if we get to, like, the Temple of Mirac, we should be able to go inside to warm up. Oh, look at me. Look, I've forgotten. I need to scream at the sky as well. Okay. Here, let's in fact get that right away. Okay. Good. Jesus. Uh-oh. Our vision is being impacted now. <laughs> Not great, but you know what? Like I said before, thankfully the island is fairly small. Let's re equip our speedy time shout. Operating under the assumption that the weather is going to clear up somewhat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. Oh, look, one of these standing stones. I should activate it and see what we get. Investigate Thirsk Mead Hall and the Exiled Nords. I've not done that. Conjure Were Bear. Well. That's cool. And of course, I remember that there were werebears in this DLC. Of course I remember that. <laughs> That's not a weird shock to me or anything. I of course remember exactly that there were werebears in this whole thing forever. Who would forget that? Who could- how could anyone possibly forget that there were werebears here? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Let's quick save since we're here. I think we can make it to Raven Rock before we freeze our butt off. Hopefully. Oh shit, that may have killed me. <laughs> okay, good. Like, we could go and take shelter inside of there, but look at this. We're so close. We'll at least make it to an area where it's not super fucking frigid. Right? Right? I think so. Okay. Oh dear. There's something chasing me. Do you hear that? I think it's like an ash nah! or some shit. Maybe not. Maybe a burnt spriggan or something? I have no idea. Okay. Well. We're getting further south and it's still fucking cold as shit. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not feeling great about our chances, especially now that I see this. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Leave this here? Jesus, Frey, you scared me. Okay. Oh, dear lord. Oh, shit. 
Okay, I need to pick into this. There's probably like an East Empire Company amulet or whatever here. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking dead. We're gonna fucking die out here. I'm taking your pie. Okay. How far away is town? Oh dear lord, it looks forever away. Okay, there we go. Look, it's warm and we're not going to freeze anymore. Alright. I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> Just so long as we don't take a big tumble, we'll be fine. Okay, good. See, we were fine the whole time. Were you worried? Don't be worried. I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good. Ooh. Fuck me. I think we should warm up if we're just standing in the center of town. I don't town know who moment. sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. Oh. I hope someday we can repay you for your Thanks. kindness. Oh, where's the guy that buys the amulets anyway? Doesn't he usually work here? Oh, he's probably gone in. Oh, there he is. Fethus, With the Ashborn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Okay. Well done, friend. Look, I'm going inside of here. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. I think I got a okay. bug around here somewhere. Hey, Glover Mallory, Any check luck it out. Tracking down Esmond? Yeah, he's dead as shit. He's dead, but I at least found the formula. I told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. He really makes it sound like he's got dead bodies down there. <laughs> All right. How are things now that the mines are open again? I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, yeah, we've heard that I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something that still keeps me awake at night. Where's this fetus dude at? The mines are open and the shop is busy again. I'll fix it up right. Thank you. Okay. Here it's we busier go. now that things are starting to look up. I guess I. You want something from me? Yeah. Are you still buying these pendants? I am. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. If you need any supplies, Great. you know where to find. Them. Hopefully, he gives us something cool for collecting them all. I don't know if he will, but it's. I'm crossing my fingers here. <laughs> okay. Let's go check the basement of this place. Okay. Good. Ooh. Ooh, sounds like some enchants going off. Okay. Ooh, Felsod Turn Feathers. Take some more of these, I guess. Oh, look, hey, you got one too. I'm assuming there's no one else inside this house I need to worry about. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. About like this. Good. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take all that. Oh, the Red Year Volume 1. Oh, yeah, we need to go pick up Volume 2. That's at, um, I believe the manor. The Morvane Manor, I should say. I was looking through the books that are new to Dragonborn DLC. Anything hidden inside of this? A little secret something? Nothing. Okay. Another delicious apple pie. Shocking amount of apple pies just out here on Solstheim. Okay. You know? There's nothing wrong with it either. Apple pie's just kind of good all around. Okay. Over here. That said, they can be absolutely terrible. I think we've talked about this before. <laughs> about, uh... How, how much, uh... Apple pies can differentiate in quality. Right? Sometimes they're just really nasty. But sometimes, holy shit, there's just like the perfect amount of crispness to the crust and all that, you know? Okay. Good. Ajidal's Aj Descent. I really don't know if we've read that. House of Troubles. Let's check this. Grab all that. Good. You know, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Let's head into the fun basement here. Jeez, it sure does look creepy. Oh, you know what? I remember what it is. It's a special, like, Thieves Guild suit of armor, isn't it? I'm almost positive that's what it is. 
Look, see, there are a few things from this DLC that I remember. Huh? Yeah, okay, there we go. I was about to say, oh shit, it's not. <laughs> okay, but it is, it is. Oh look, guess who's been stealing them? Uh, I see, okay. Alright. Good job, you think you're funny, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go over here, take all these. I'll take the free money and free picks. Lovely. Good. Should we take this, like, Blackbriar stuff? Maybe. Take some lavender for sure. Garlic. Thief cash. Oh, does this repopulate itself then? The cash, specifically? I guess so. What is this? You got, like, a weird little thief shrine. And yet nothing too nocturnal. <laughs> Do you think he's- do you think he was suffering the same fate up here? Do you think he knows about any of that? <laughs> do you think, uh, what's his name? His brother, whoever his- his relation is to, uh, Delvin? Do you think they wrote about how Mercer Frey pretty much fucked everyone for the longest time? Glover's letter. Oh shit. Wow, Sapphire is his daughter then! Wow, okay. My dearest daughter, Sapphire. It's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years I've thought about how I could tell you this, and each time I imagined it would be face to face. I'm ashamed for what I did, and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't blame Delvin for any of this. He didn't know. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to rob a caravan that was stopping at a tiny farm farming village not far from the border of Skyrim. When I arrived there, I was a day early and decided to sleep for the night in the barn of a pig farm. I awoke the next morning when the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes upon walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. In an instant, I think we had both fallen in love. Wow, did you all just bang right on the spot? She took one look at you inside of her barn, hiding there like a weird freak, and she was just so fucking ready to go instantly. What were her chores? Why was she going to the barn if she was, like, so fucking raring to go? <laughs> I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with child. And then, like a coward, I ran away. I was a thief. And I didn't want to end up a farmer. It was a terrible thing to do. Why... Why didn't you just steal? <laughs> why didn't you just continue stealing? <laughs> if not from the little village, then, you know... Just <laughs> just keep going around and stealing. <laughs> like, I would see, like... Yeah, and then one day, I couldn't help it. I just had to keep stealing shit from the nearest, bigger town and all that. And then she found out and I had to run. But no, he just ran off. He, just, he was just like, ugh. God, I hate these animals. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, when you were recruited by Brynjolf, I couldn't believe my eyes. You're a spitting image of your mother, and I knew it was you in an instant. Only the gods know how you survived the attack on that village, and why you followed in my footsteps. But I have to assume it was meant to be. Normally I would I would shake my head at this, but in the magical world of the Elder Scrolls, sure. <laughs> right, especially considering, you know, the influence of Nocturnal and all that. On the, this version of the Thieves' Guild as well. I've wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to leave Riften instead of facing your anger. I said my goodbyes to Delvin and I headed for Solstheim, as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for never being there to hold you at night or to protect you from whatever hardships you endured. One day, I hope you'll make the journey to Solstheim and visit your father. Glover Mallory. Man, that's wild. Do you think Delvin knew? He, the letter makes it sound like Delvin... Well, did he say Delvin didn't know? Hang on. Oh, shit. What was it called? Glover's letter. Let's see. 
He didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Wild. Hide shield of yada yada. Daedric sword of winter. Eh. Strong box. What have we got here? Eh, I'll take it. Okay. Blackguard's full set of equipment. What does it do? Hmm. Carry capacity, pickpocket chance, lock picking, prices. Eh, not that great. Okay. Sure. Very well. I suppose maybe in between videos I'll haul stuff back and forth, right? Yeah. You know what? Reading that letter, I guess, can be our reading for the day. Right? Uh, can you can you bring the letter back to Sapphire? I want to say that you can. I'm not sure, though. But I think you can actually go and do that. We'll have to see next time we're back on the mainland. Anyway, like I said, in between videos, we'll do some inventory management. Maybe I'll even go next door. Actually, you know, we can just do it right now. I'll go next door and we'll pick up a book to read for, like, in the future. Right? Okay, Morvane Manor, somewhere in here. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, Fred? Of course I'm not planning any trouble. Have I ever done anything like that here? Except for that time open, that I did stuff like that here? to flow because of your discovery. My eternal gratitude and blessings go with you, Fred. Alright, let's see. Can I do this? <laughs> Shit, it is stealing. Okay. Let's see here. Look the other way. Come on. Oh, shit. Every so often, I'm able to do it. There we go. Eh? <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, great. <laughs> I feel I owe you my life, but thwarting the Good. house... Good. Alright, yeah. So, when next we come back, maybe we'll even have built up this armor? Do I know how to do it? Huh. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me check real quick. Do I have, like, improved bone mold armor or something? Yeah, there we are. Cool. Okay. Fuck, it really does take void salts, though. And stalrim. Fuck me. Okay. I forgot it took stalrim. Jesus. Alright, well, we're gonna get this stuff going. I guess we don't need the hat as much as I would like it. Because, you know, the Ethereum crown is just too good. As much as I love the look of the hat, right? Okay, cool. Maybe in between videos we'll sort that out. Depends on if we have any void salts up here. We may have to wait until we go back to the mainland to get some. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, when next we come back, all that shit uh, will be accomplished and we'll be ready to do another adventure, right? Who knows? We've got so many side quests and all sorts of stuff. Maybe we go in with the main quest here on Soul Slime? I don't know. Now that we have our base of operations... The world is really our oyster. Until next time, please take care of each other.